Hi, yeah, you better stay back. I have a spoon and I'm not afraid to use it. Watch out, brother, because I am feeling strong and courageous here. I see. So a spoon makes you feel strong and courageous? Yes. I'll be right back. Uh, I guess so. Does a helmet make you feel strong and courageous? Yes, that would protect my head. Would a flashlight make you feel strong and courageous? Yes, it would light up the dark. Would a toothbrush make you feel strong and courageous? Uh, yeah, that would keep my teeth safe from cavities. Would a cookie make you feel strong and courageous? Um, I'm not sure it would make me feel strong and courageous, but I think it would taste good. Would a flower make you feel strong and courageous? Uh, no. Flowers are just pretty and smell nice. Would a teddy bear make you feel strong and courageous? Teddy! Hey, you put that back on my bed right now, mister. I need him to help me sleep. I guess that means he helps me feel strong and courageous. Would a Bible make you feel strong and courageous? The Bible? Isn't it just a book? How could a book make me feel strong and courageous? Well, the Bible is God's book. It's full of stories that really happen, where real people face real dangers with God's help. So God made those people in the Bible stories strong and courageous? Yes, he did. And he helped them follow him. I guess I'm holding the wrong thing right now. Can I hold your Bible so I can be strong and courageous? Sure you can. But the best thing you can do is read it. Want me to read you the story of Joshua in the Battle of Jericho? God helped Joshua be strong and courageous. Yes, yes I would. Yeah, gr great. Let's go to the living room.